where I, what I saw in 1984, the idea of objective reality, the way the boot stomp is on, stomps on the face forever is not that totalitarianism is an inevitability, it's that uh, as, as Huxley saw it in the world that, I'm not Huxley, I'm sorry, uh, as Orwell saw it in the world that he lived in, he felt like people were letting go of objective truth, objective reality, and allowing for that subjectivity of saying, whatever the Fuhrer says is true. If two plus two equals five, well, if the Fuhrer says it, it must be true. When we let go of objective truth, and objective reality, objective morality, what we will do is we will we'll submit ourselves to a person who is of stamping on our face forever. So I saw that in 1984. And then when I went and read Brave New World and, and rethought about that and thought about what was going on there, I realized these are two totally different books. People love to compare Brave New World and they love to compare uh, with 1984, Aldous Huxley and Orwell. They love to compare them and say who was right, which one had it right. But what they miss is the common theme within both of them. Though one 1984 comes through uh, obvious, terrible, disgusting power grab where there's just complete oppression in every way. And then in Brave New World, where you have these people who are living a, uh, a lewd lifestyle, a very graphically lewd lifestyle where they li there's, there's orgies and things like that, very, very disgusting moral things that are never seen as bad. But then of course they consider uh, the words mother and father to be pornography. So they, they've turned uh, morality on its head, but they live a very cush lifestyle. But both are saying the same thing. Mm. Both are talking about conditioning and about conditioning, taking away the ability for someone to think objectively and about the individual, about holding on to the importance of individuality while simultaneously not allowing subjectivity to overtake and cause the individual to cease to exist. The reason individuals exist is because objective reality exists. If objective reality ceases to exist, then the individual no longer exists.